Billy Todd uh, serves as the registrar here at DTS and is a GTA for online courses and is currently working on his PhD in theological studies. I think he's down to the wire, just about ready for that hood over his head. And during his THM program, he traveled with Dr. Dan Wallace to Greece and Albania to study and photograph ancient New Testament manuscripts. And when not working on his dissertation, Billy enjoys photography and woodworking. Uh, he's married to Ashley. They have two sons, Caleb and Jacob. And they attend Lake Ridge Bible Church in Mesquite and serve in the student ministry there. Would you welcome Billy Todd with me, please. Good morning. Last night, uh, I got talked into playing basketball by my son uh, with a bunch of high school guys. And as I tried to get up this morning, I considered changing my sermon or my talk to the benefit of just saying no. But uh, <laughs> by the time I actually got up, there wasn't time to prepare that. So uh, 12 years ago, um, I was packing up the house. I was leaving my job. I was preparing to move to Dallas because 12 years ago, my plan was to come to DTS to do a two-year MA degree. Uh, I eventually wanted to work with students, and uh, this morning I want to share with you, as a fellow student, my journey through seminary through the lens of Proverbs 19, 20, and 21. Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but the purpose of the Lord, it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. There's a word in this uh, pair of verses that translate from the same Hebrew word. When we're told to listen to advice, the word advice, and then in the, in the end, when it is the purpose of the Lord that stands, the word purpose. Those words, advice and purpose, are translated from the same Hebrew word. They're key to the concept of the importance of getting counsel in our making of plans. My story begins uh, when I was preparing to move to Dallas Seminary. I sought advice from pastors, from friends, people that knew me well, and of course from my spouse. And I prayed that it was the right decision all along the way through the, through the application process. And I received confirmation. It came through acceptance to DTS and through the encouragement of my family and my church. And further, confirmation came through, uh, nicely enough, unexpected financial support. Um, acceptance into uh, apartment life ministry, which we uh, entered into for our first year here, and uh, a part-time job. So things were looking good. Um, I felt as though God was seeing us through our transition to seminary. However, this was my plan. Remember, many are the plans in the mind of a man. When I began classes and met other students here, there was more to seminary than I realized. I started talking to friends, making friends on campus and hearing about all that they were doing. And I determined that the languages were gonna be beneficial to me in the future. I wanted to ch study church history. And by the time I got through adding on all of the different electives I wanted to add onto my MA program, I had about a 90 to 100 hour MA planned out. <laughs> so I prayed for direction. I talked to my fellow students. I, I asked, what are you doing? You know, uh, what's it like? Uh, I talked to professors that I had met uh, already. And uh, through the advice gained, uh, I felt a little more wise and knew, knew a little more about what to expect here at seminary. And in my first semester here at DTS, I reclassified to the THM program. Confirmation for that came through opportunities that I was given. I was given the opportunity to teach. Um, I, was, I taught in the Lay Institute. I was able to fill in for some, some classes here and there. And 
I also uh, was confirmed with being able to, to do research. I was uh, asked to travel with Dr. Wallace on some of, his, some of his trips to study New Testament manuscripts. So I had confirmation that the plan was going the right direction at that point. And five years after I began, after coming here for a two-year MA, five years after I began, I graduated with my THM. Praise the Lord. And uh, God's plan for me was not finished. Uh, during the year after I graduated, I continued to work here on staff and uh, continued to feel uh, led more and more toward teaching and administrative work. So what did I do? I formulated a plan. I applied and I began a PhD uh, in a technology area at a local university. And uh, after a couple of weeks, it didn't take long, I could see that that was the wrong plan for me. Even though I hadn't prayed that God would show me the right plan, he answered me anyway and showed me very clearly that that was not what I should be doing. What was I missing? I was missing wisdom. I was missing advice from others. I didn't seek out help from my friends. Uh, I didn't seek advice from, from the faculty that, uh, that had helped me so much before. And I really didn't involve God in the decision. I didn't pray that that was the right path. I just went down this path on my own because I had, as the proverb says, a plan in my mind. So eventually, um, not too far into that program, I withdrew from, from that program and continued working and figuring out what to do. But immediately, I went to people I knew. I went to numerous professors for advice. Um, I worked here on campus, so they were readily accessible to me. So I went and I sought advice from people that I trusted and people that I knew, and honestly, people that knew me. Uh, one in particular, I went to, uh, to Dr. Hannah because I had developed an interest in church history. And in talking to Dr. Hannah, he gave me uh, some really good advice, and then uh, in seeing my direction, sent me to Dr. Bingham, who gave me good advice. He steered me toward Drs. Kreider and Spiegel, and it went from there. Uh, each one along the way provided the advising and the wisdom that I needed to make a good decision. This time, uh, I began, applied to and began PhD program here at DTS. And this time I feel like it became, it came with good counsel, good wisdom, and through prayer. Uh, this time <laughs> I involved God in my decision. Confirmation. Confirmation came through, well, acceptance into the program. It was, it was tough getting into the program. So acceptance into the program, and I was asked to, uh, right off the bat to help uh, a professor with a writing project. Um, it was a wonderful experience, and it was further confirmation that I was going the right direction because it was a project that really uh, fulfilled a need and fulfilled me in my ministry. And confirmation also came through coursework through both my mentors in the PhD program and through my friends. Uh, people that I got to know further confirmed and further acknowledged that I was on the right path. I had the right plan and progress. And now with coursework completed and exams are behind me, uh, praise God, exams are behind me. <laughs> um, confirmation continues. And I continue to seek advice. Um, I'm often asked, what are you going to do when you graduate? And the answer is generally, I'm not real sure. Um, you know, if I stay where I am for some time, and that's God's plan, that's good. If God has another plan, that's good too. But along the process, I'm seeking advice. I'm seeking wisdom from others. And I'm asking God to lead me 
through the process of determining what happens next. So, what I would encourage you with this morning comes straight out of Scripture. Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future because you may have many plans in your mind but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. The wisdom of the Lord will guide you. Let me pray for us. Father, I pray for our students that you would provide those uh, professors, friends, family to come along beside them to give them good instruction, good advice. And Father, I pray that you would guide each one of them as they seek you for their path. Show them their path clearly, Lord. And I pray that they would gain clarity and be open to the change that you may provide for them in the future. In Jesus' name, amen.